Did you know that scientists have proven that God's name is actually in our DNA? Anytime an apologist opens with scientists discovered or scientists said X, Y, or Z, it's a near guarantee that no such thing has ever happened or been said. Now some specific questions. Which scientists said the thing? Which scientists did the research? Where was the research published? Was it peer reviewed? And where can I find a copy of this research to view for myself? These are all questions that won't be answered because everything this guy says is completely made up. The research that this is referring to is just from an anonymous YouTube video that shows an unnamed professor talking about his particular discovery. Watch this. Medical scientists have actually found in the nucleic acids of human DNA a certain sequence that spells a certain name. This sequence consists of four Hebrew letters that are pronounced Yod, He, Va, He, which is the actual name of God found in every person's DNA. Hold up, not so fast. How exactly do you get the name Yahweh from the letters A, T, G, and C? You didn't explain that part, you just breathed right through it. Now if you go back to the original video where this myth originated, you'll discover that what it actually is, is a sequence of how often a sulfuric bridge appears between these pairings of acids. Now the problem with this, of course, is that there is no sulfuric bridge in human DNA. All human DNA is bonded using hydrogen. However, there are sulfuric bonds in other living organisms like in bacteria. So where this guy got the idea that the human body contains sulfuric bridges in the DNA, I have no idea. He's clearly not a professional in this particular field. This is the thumbprint of God proving that he created you and he created me. This is utter nonsense because every human cell, which is uh, one of 200 different varieties, has a different ordering of base pairs. So. If you're going to say that the human DNA has an ordering of base pairs that spells out the name Yahweh based on this sequence of a bridge that doesn't actually exist within human DNA, then you would have to at least identify which specific cell you're referring to. Now, I'm not going to waste any more time on this utter nonsense. If you're a non-believer, then you can open up any biology book and find this information. However, for the believers watching this video, I have a special recommendation for you. Pick yourself up a copy of Cell Biology for Babies. It will be written in a format that I'm sure you can understand.